Chaitanya Bharati Institute of Technology, more popularly known as CBIT, has been committed to excellence in education and innovation for over 40 years. The institute was conceptualized and established in the year 1979 to facilitate the best engineering and management education by a group of visionaries drawn from different professions. And over the years, it has emerged as a premier engineering institute in the states of Telangana and Andhra Pradesh. and has a place of pride amongst the national colleges, ranked as 100 by NIRF. A-grade accreditation by NAC, and autonomous status approved by the UGC since 2013, and ranked first in Telangana, according to a June 2018 survey by the Outlook magazine, testified to the commitment to quality education. The Institute's vision is to be a center of excellence in technical education and research. And its mission is to address the emerging needs through curriculum architecture, pedagogical excellence, and credits for innovative and creative thinking and advanced research. The academic achievements of the students have been the best with more than 90% of the students in their respective engineering and management streams achieving distinctions and with the placements and higher studies percentage also averaging at 90%. The institute has always placed continued thrust on innovation and R&D by working with foreign entities, private and public industries. MOU for establishing School of Excellence through Curtain Challenge Platform for India and Asia has been signed during the month of July and this would help the students, faculty and scholars pursuing research to work in an international expert's guidance in the areas of their interest. The Institute has developed the infrastructure ecosystem with state-of-the-art laboratories well-equipped library with printed and digital collection of books and journals, extensive sports amenities and gymnasiums, comfortable transportation facilities, What should I say about CBIT? I think it's one of the best college according to its ranking too. So the uh, faculty here is like great. So whenever you have a problem, you can like, you know, easily communicate with them and you'll have a council, you'll have a student council who will support you. You have an anti-ragging team. CBIT is a lovely campus with a lot of greenery and has a lot of trees. The library has a lot of journals, books, uh, reference books, etc., which are very useful for the students of CBIT. I've spent three years of my life here in CBIT and it's been a wonderful experience. The teachers have been very supportive to us and they've helped us uh, understand every topic thoroughly and the labs also are very well equipped. They teach us all the new techniques that are emerging in this field.
this hostel for uh, last four years. Uh, in all my B.Tech, I had uh, at here only. It is very friendly for me and uh, it is very walkable distance from our college. And we are having two blocks. Uh, one is for junior block and another one is for senior block. Junior block is for first years and uh, senior block is for second, third and fourth years. I am pursuing my B.Tech in CBIT now. We are in CBIT hostel. So this in first for the first years we have different hostel and for second third years we have different still to avoid the ragging. It's a very friendly environment. You can talk to a security room if any problem is there. About the cleanliness of rooms, we have a big room in which cleanliness is there. We have a Wi-Fi which will uh, help you during your course in studying. The president and the principal will detail about the progress of the institute and its achievements in different areas, and the long-term strategy that they would like to adopt to sustain their leadership status. My dear friends and well-wishers, it's my pleasant duty to tell you about the CBIT, how it was started in 1979, where I requested Dr. Chandaradigaru to give permission to start one college, immediately he said, please give me a society that with the 200 students we want to start engineering college and I am trying to get a uh, site and other things. But immediately I could not get a site. Then a AV college in Gagarbagal area, uh, we have used temporarily with the permission of our chairman, uh, Sri. Yeah, he was the chairman of AV College, therefore he said immediately you can start college here. Then immediately I announced to university, then three courses, Civil, Mechanical and Electronics, three courses with 100, 100 seats, I have given a letter. Immediately university uh, uh, vice chancellor also cooperated and he gave permission. Thank you very much. Chetanabad Institute of Technology established in the year 1979 with an intake of 200 students. Now it has grown to 5,300 students with 9 UG programs, 10 PG programs. All together we have uh, the students of 5,300 plus and we have uh, to take care of uh, the teaching learning process 300 faculty members with uh, 120 PhDs and one more, 120 more are working on uh, their thesis. Uh, remaining are MTech uh, faculty members. We have 300 more non-teaching and supporting faculty who takes care of all the services for the students and the faculty. Uh, CBIT, uh, for all the programs, we have accredited by NBA. All nine UG programs and uh, five PG programs are accredited by NBA, AACTE. And all programs are accredited by NAC UGC twice. And in the year 2017, CBIT accredited by NAC A grade and uh, CBIT became autonomous in the year 2013. Uh, second uh, uh, turn, uh, it's autonomous again, extension up to 2024. Uh, we have uh, very good placements by MNCs, 200 plus placements for all the students of engineering and MCA, MBA and MEA MTech. Uh, 41 lakhs package for five students by Microsoft. Remaining students, the package average 6.5 lakhs per annum to 41 lakhs and all the uh, students have been in teaching learning as well the participating in uh, various clubs so there are 23 clubs and 53 MOEs with the industry and all the faculty and students are working their uh, best for the institute, institution growth. Mm -hmm.